I have an older brother who is about nine and a half years older, so he was kind of more out of the house by the time um, I was born, and I'm the oldest, really. I usually say I have seven kids. Um, so I, my, we had five girls and then two younger brothers, and um, my sisters always called me just the boss because I was very bossy. <laughs> I grew up with um, kind of two sisters really close to my age, Andrea and Sarah were after me and we used to always, um, we play the Hardy Boys and I always got to have Frank with me and Sarah got Joe and Andrea got stuck with the fat boy, Chet. Um, so we did a lot of imaginary play, we rode bikes, climbed trees until I like figured out that I was afraid of heights and then that kind of didn't work out so much anymore. I was the second of four kids, uh, first for my dad, and um, so I had an older brother, obviously, and uh, he was he is nine years older than me. And I, I had two younger sisters that are, were all two years apart beyond that. Being the older brother, of course, I had to make him suffer a little bit, and uh, you know, that was just the way it was, but they fought back. Uh, Alex in particular, she and I clash very well, but we're very similar too. And um, and so uh, Elena always was more of a neutral party, like, I don't want to take sides, so she's still that way. <laughs> I graduated, you know, from a Christian school in Ohio and then went to school in South Carolina for an L.A. degree. Um, minored in coaching, then I literally, I moved to South Bend, Indiana um, to teach and a coach, and so I taught for seven years in um, a Christian school in South Bend and coached volleyball, and then um, moved on to tutor for foster care kids to um, the JJC kids. So really South Bend's where I met Clay. Went, went to Heritage for uh, eight years, learned a lot there, made a lot of friends, but it was funny because at Heritage I never really was very social at all. And I had sort of my branded um, friend groups uh, that were sort of my four closest guy friends or whatever, and I didn't really talk to many girls. And, and so when I got to high school at, at Park, I pretty much changed my entire identity in that sense, really became much more social, much more friendly, and uh, I got to be a kid that talked to everybody. College, went to Wabash. Uh, I was pretty sure I was gonna be biology major. I think junior summer I did research and a doctor kind of internship. And I think it was pretty clear that I was like, you know, I like being a doc, I would be a doctor if I want, but I, I enjoyed the research more. Went and applied to Notre Dame, got in, because uh, there was a lab that I really liked. Actually, there was an, a Wabash alum that had come back to Wabash and gave a talk, and I was like, you know, that's exactly the kind of stuff I would love to research. And anyways, I ended up joining that exact same lab. I just kind of decided, like, hey, you know, I love my friends, but there are, there are some differences between some of the grad students and myself, and um, I wanted to just kind of meet a different crowd for a little bit and see how that went. And so I ended up talking to my good friend David, who ended up introducing me to Jocelyn's friend group, and, and that's sort of how it worked out from there. Well, we had a disagreement recently about how we met because he thought we met at Chick-fil-A and I was pretty sure it was Chipotle. We actually first met uh, on our way to the haunted house. We went to dinner at, she says Chipotle, I say Chick-fil-A. So we had to clarify that uh, it was Chipotle. Um, I don't know that we officially met there. We had mutual friends who, you know, we went to Bible studies together and everything. And so we met there and then, um, we all went to, it was like Halloween and we had gone to a haunted house. I actually don't really officially get introduced until at the haunted house when we all drive up and I sort of meet them and there's about 10 people I didn't know. I don't remember actually ever officially meeting. Right. I just grabbed them in the dark because I was like, we got shoved into the haunted house. You couldn't see a thing. He had been the one in front of me, so I grabbed the back of his coat, and then I was like, what if I grab some of the, one of the people? Like, I'm like, I don't know who I have, and I started yelling, I'm like, Clay, Clay, is that you? And he was like, yeah, that's me, and that was kind of like the first interaction we really had. 
So, uh, and it turns out after the end of the evening, Jocelyn was the only name I remembered out of the group because she had the most unique name. I didn't know any Jocelyn's. I knew other people's names, so. When I first saw him, I, I thought he was just, um, I don't know, checking me out. I don't know, I wasn't really impressed. Uh, but I got to know him and I, I realize now, like, I understood him. <laughs> But um, yeah, he was very, very nice, very hospitable. I had everybody over afterwards. Um, and then I never heard from him again for two months. We started talking on Facebook quite a bit after that. About, actually, it took about a month for me to actually think about it for a while. And So Christmas Day, he found me on Facebook and we started Facebooking. And so about a year later, we started dating. Our first actual date was, uh, it was actually, um, Let's see, I think it was like January 5th maybe, something like that. It was right in the first week of January because it, it was a college football game. It was a bowl game. And uh, it was right before the national title game. It was the uh, um, the Rose Bowl. I, uh, yeah, it was the Rose Bowl where Texas and Ohio State played. And I, for whatever reason, cheer for Texas. She, she's a big Ohio State fan. It just happened to be that when we had first started the game, to know each other that Ohio State and Texas were in the championship bowl. So we both love the ball. That's probably what sold them. I love the Indianapolis Colts and that was that was it. But um, anyway, we we watched the game together and we also went to Wings to eat. Um, and I remember thinking like he's really loud. Texas won, so that worked out. <laughs> I just didn't know what to think of, about him at first. But what if his, his lines or his questions that he asked me was, um, do you have any quirks or like weird habits? And I'm like, who asked this? Like, I don't know what you're looking for. And I was like, you know, I guess I was just like, you know, we can talk about all the stuff everyone talks about, it, right? I mean, and I was just kind of like, you know, let's talk about stuff you don't want to talk about. Uh, so what are the things that you do that's unique to you and kind of those things that people like you kind of are embarrassed by? Um, he's like, well, for instance, he's like, I like to eat my cereal dry with a spoon. And I think my jaw just dropped open because I was like, I do too, and I don't know anybody else in the world that does this. Well, neither one of us end up putting milk in our cereal. And, and I thought that was awesome because I was like, I don't think I've known anyone else to have that quirk. I was like, I absolutely despise milk in my cereal. But uh, yeah, that was funny. I have the same quirk as him. Um, so that was interesting and that it was kind of like, okay, that's kind of, you know, just cool. Clay was just always easy to talk to and very open and so he was really easy for me to get along with and we really, I think, became really good friends and the interest obviously grew off of that. She had a very tender heart spirit, I guess, and that was, I think that's the first thing I noticed. Um, was I remember immediately like she she basically had met all my family before I met any of hers and she was good with you know my nephews and uh, she was good with a lot of my family my family liked her a lot so that was a big deal um, so and I think we match up pretty well in that regard because um, I can be very loud she can be quieter and you know so there's some there's some nice compliment stuff going on. This is a love song. So the proposal, <laughs> um, we knew, like, going into it, we kind of already had a date set, um, and we we knew, like, I knew that he had the ring because he had, I knew, I just, he, I was there when he bought it, um, but. I was afraid that he was thinking, oh, I still have like three months and she knows I have the ring, she can plan the wedding, which is not possible. So we had had a discussion, but he's like, Dawson, I have a plan. And I was like, okay. And part of me was sad because I was like, I want to be surprised, you know, when I get proposed to and that's just not going to happen because I know he has a ring and I know he has to do it in a certain amount of time. So it, he said, there's this YouTube video that I want you to see and he gave me his iPod. So I pressed play and it was him video I put together, I uh, put it, um, just took it one take or a couple takes, I said everything I really wanted to say and that was really the crucial thing. Um, and I put it in a format on my iPod, kind of just saved it on my iPod. I was like, gonna do a DVD, but that might have been too obvious, so I like it. Uh, so one night, the next night, I was like, I'm, I'm dead set on the next, we're gonna do this by this date. 
it was just a matter of getting the right time. So we ended up watching Transformers or whatever, and at the end of the night, she was ready to go home. And I asked her, I was like, well, can you watch this YouTube video real quick? Uh, and she's like, okay, okay. She's like, do I have to watch it now? And I'm like, yeah, it's probably good that you watch it now. And immediately when I came up, she knew what I was gonna do. And he had video recorded himself, and he, you know, just kind of went through our whole relationship. And then at the end, the screen popped up with, you know, will you marry me? And he got down on one knee and he proposed. But she never really said, I mean, yes. She kind of just, you know, and uh, she uh, ended up saying, I was like, so, you know, she's like, well, of course, yes, yes, yes. And I just, you know, I was so excited because I'm like, I had no clue. I really did it. And I thought there was no way you were going to pull this off, but he did. Like, he had it planned out from the beginning, and he just did it all. So I still have my proposal. I was like, I don't think I'll show it to anybody else, but it was very sweet, and I love it. Clay and soon to be Aunt Jocelyn. Uh, or I guess when. <laughs> That's a whole one, Sam. The burpees? What's going on? It's my glass, dude. <laughs>